Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode Let's Play. Where we're headed right back to Elite Zoo South to, you guessed it, pick things up where we left them off. Doing pretty good overall, feeling pretty satisfied with how things are going. Um, I feel like we're making a lot of progress in terms of finishing off sections of our zoo. Uh, you know, really establishing an aesthetic and, and getting things going like that. So, really excited to see where we are right now and it's given me... I think it's given us some uh, an extra kick to get us to that finish line with all the South America um, uh, areas that need completing. Uh, I just want to mention, as always, folks, if you have been enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue, please do not hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes such a big difference in how I approach things on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing it. Again, I do read through each and every comment. It really does inform me with regards to uh, what people are interested in seeing and how they're interested in seeing it done. So if you have any anecdotes, thoughts, feedback, ideas, concepts, or you know just anything you'd like to share, uh, feel free to do so down below because it does make a difference in, in how things are done around these parts. Uh, I, again, just looking through the zoo really quickly, I do like doing a quick uh, sort of look around nice and early just to see how the crowds are forming, where people are going. Uh, where we might need to make some adjustments, where, you know, security is is catching a thief on the run, uh, and, and just sort of getting a quick catch-up done, basically. Um, it's, it's easy to do when the zoo is smaller, obviously. As it gets bigger, uh, it gets a little bit harder to do, but feeling pretty good about things uh, in the current state. I also want to point out, I find it hilarious that uh, in, in, in the comments of, uh, of last session, so many of y'all spoke in favor of the little green trim we have up top, teal... Teal turquoise-ish, <laughs> trying to pinpoint the color, I guess. Um, but yeah, there was, there was so much support for that, uh, which is great to see. It's kind of funny, as it's like um, the the, uh, the the age old, you know, not saying but belief that uh, when people don't like something, they're they're very quick to like say it. Um, but when people like something, you know, it's typically gone unmentioned. So. When I mentioned that, oh yeah, it seems some of y'all didn't quite like the uh, the trim, the chorus of voices coming in saying that, no, no, trim is good. It's just kind of funny to me. Uh, but I, I agree, I do quite like it. It adds that little pop of color, a little hint of color. And in fact, now the original plan for this, uh, this sign was to have the two tones, um, but I wasn't sure if people liked it or not. But now that I know people do like it, we can go ahead and, and, and stick with that. No, hold on. What did you... Why, why would you do that game? There we go. Stick with my original plan. Original plan. <laughs> this game is being, uh, being a, little, a little difficult, isn't it, right now? Come on now. There we go. There we go. There we... Come. There we go. And do that. <laughs> I feel like, again, it just adds that little, little pop of color. Just brings it out. Um, brings it to life. Gives a bit more energy to it, and then when nightfall comes in today's session, we'll do a little bit of lighting work over here as well to light up the sign. Uh, one thing I want to do right off the bat is uh, just a touch of management before we dive into a time lapse. We are going to have the time lapse early today uh, because I've got uh, a lot of work to do and I want to make sure it gets done. I'd like to finish an entire section today, and I'll touch more on that in just a moment's time. Uh, Pachamama's Garden, well, hey, I'll touch on it right now while I'm making this adjustment. Um, wow, it's still... This is weird that it takes so long for it to register these edits. Uh, Pachamama's Garden is going to be, uh, just kind of temporarily on hold still. I do have some ideas for it. I've done, you know, my research for it and stuff like that. But, uh, for some reason... I, I can't tell you what the reason is, but for some reason I feel inclined, uh, to go up to the, uh, to Llama Lane and finish that area off. Just want to make it a bit more, uh... <laughs> just want to make it a bit more picturesque before we move on from it, I guess. I, I guess it's just, I feel like this area has had some love, uh, and now it's time to, to bring that love elsewhere, uh, just a little bit further from this area. So Pachamama's Garden feels like the same kind of space. Uh, I feel like we can move on to, uh, to something a little further away so that more of the zoo feels done rather than just one concentrated space of doneness. Uh, again, those of you that watched Elite Zoo North in Season 1 will know how I like to approach things is... Typically, rather than get one thing 100% done and then move on to the next thing to get it 100% done, I try to get everything to like equal parts of done. So for example, I would say that this section of the zoo, I don't know if this is actually helping by the way, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, we can say like this section of the zoo is about, you know, 50% done. So now let's get up over here and, and get this section to catch up with this section. And then we'll, you know, that, that's kind of... 
it's it's not the perfect explanation of my approach, but it's the best I can give right now. Uh, but I try to keep everything you know caught up so it doesn't feel like wow look at wow look at how you know coverage this is and and, and how complete this is but don't look over there because <laughs> nothing's been done uh, i try to keep a balance so i'm going to try and do that by uh working on the uh on llama lane today in our time lapse a uh, lot's planned for that now i really hope that i'm not going to see this lag continue to bother me and i really hope we don't see crashes come through i'm just very quickly saying the word crash makes me nervous i'm going to just quickly save the zoo and uh Worst case scenario, maybe I should do like a game reinstall or something like that. I thought this was a giant monkey staring at me. I was like, I did not know the capuchin got that big. Just caught it like from the corner of my eye. Um, but yeah, hopefully we're not going to have any issues today. Um, because that was a that was a bother last time. I really hope that's not uh, a permanent thing over here. Uh, I do need to fix this wall again. Thank you all for pointing out the issue over here. I would have missed it otherwise until much later. And it was it would drive me absolutely wild. Oh yeah, we're still seeing that lag for sure. Okay, go ahead and drop the grid size. Uh, yeah, not not gonna fiddle too much. Um, the the lighting last session definitely lasted a lot longer than I'd initially intended or even anticipated. Uh, so I apologize for that. My intent is not to do 30 minutes straight of me just tweaking lighting, but uh, I guess time got away from me. Uh, in future lighting passes will largely be time lapsed. Yes. Um, yeah, looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. We're all clean. Yeah, we are all clean. Beautiful. Yeah, that, that lag does bother me. Let, me. let me check one thing over here, though. If I were to go ahead and move a piece over here, yeah, see, instant response over here. Something is up over here, and that's despite me adjusting the habitat space. Now, let me quickly check to make sure my habitat adjustment didn't break escape routes or anything like that. Where is the closest monkey? Sentences you never thought you'd be saying. Where Where is the closest monkey? Everyone seems to be over here right now. Come on now. Come on. There we go. You're not a keeper. What are you doing by this door? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our habitat here. Gonna unpause for just a mere second. Oh yeah, it looks like we do have some... Interesting, how can you get up over here? It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? I don't understand what's going on. I'm not sure why this is the case. I hope it's not a bigger problem than... Uh, and maybe just doing like a game cache clearing or something like that. Anyway, um, back to business over here. What what has and hasn't been done? Now, let's go ahead and find that monkey again. There you are, buddy. Oh, a couple of you. All right, come on. Give me, give me the monkey. There we go. Take a quick look over here. Yeah, this overlay is just like broken. You can see the lag as I try to move around with this overlay. Has there been an update? They weren't able to reach that space previously, but now it seems they absolutely can. And I see no reason for them to be able to. I know this is back out. I'll, I'll fix that afterwards. Oh, man. Hopefully I haven't... Oh, boy. All right, in that case, you know, if... If, 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 if it's going to be this way, then let it be this way, I suppose. Let's go ahead and adjust... Go ahead and adjust this and bring it back to where it was. This is a, an unfortunate situation, to say the least. To say the least. Oh, man. I think what's going on is um, every time I make an adjustment over here, the game is recalculating all of the climbing pieces and things like that. And that's why it's taking so long. But even if I move these back, the game is still calculating all these climbing pieces and uh and we're still seeing the same issue i guess okay well we'll we'll find out let's go back to where we were because we're not going to be dealing with this space for much longer really so it's not the end of the world right so uh, i think it's okay to go about it this way if i could just find the right pieces though so you go up over there you need to be down over here, I guess. I don't know if you need to be all the way out that way. I guess you... Need to be down over here. Weird. Not what I remember doing. I wish I rem I, I wish I'd... I wish I'd made my initial adjustments realizing that I might have to undo them all. <laughs> Who does that? Uh, okay, that's... This is, uh, this is a little nerve-wracking, I'm not gonna lie. But I think we've solved the problem over here. Gonna go ahead and 
get out of there. Go ahead and adjust you as well. Move you in. And then I'm going to save it. Come on now. That's that's what I was dealing with during the time lapse, by the way. That was the, the rate of click and response. That was not ideal. All right. Go ahead and save now so that even if it does crash, we at least don't lose all this. And guaranteed, almost guaranteed, it's going to crash again. Uh, but I do want to check to make sure the animal can't escape because that'll be worse than just, you know, suffering from a crash right now. Yeah, it's wild. They can actually... How, wh Why can you get up here all of a sudden? Why are you able to get through this gap all of a sudden? I don't remember widening anything over here. We're going to count these as escapes, I guess. Don't tell me they changed how some of these barriers work. No, they, 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 there must be some other way that they're getting down here. Trying to figure out where that connection is. Trying to figure out where that connection might be. I mean, be able to get up over here as well again. They're not supposed to be able to. We blocked it off pretty nicely previously. Maybe it just needs to be recalculated. Maybe. Looks like it has been recalculated though, because we're no longer seeing the escapes happening over here. Seeing it up over here and down over here. Okay, okay. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like this. I. I do not understand what's happening here. This doesn't make any sense to me compared to our prior experience with. Uh, with the um. With the whole game. Never quite seen anything like this. But adapt and overcome, right? That should do the trick over here. Go ahead and get you down over here too. That'll hopefully do the trick over here. My apologies for this uh, technical situation we find ourselves in, but I'm definitely glad to have identified it sooner rather than later. Or at least I think I've identified it. We'll find out together, I suppose. Yeah, okay, weird. So it is updating live, which the game never used to do. You used to have to, like, play a little bit before it would update. Why is... Okay. Right, I'm gonna hit... I'm gonna, I'm gonna unpause. Is it gonna re-recalculate this? Okay. I think I see the issue. I think I see the issue. Yep. These are climbable. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so if those are climbable. That's that's the change we made. That's why everything's accessible now. That's why every piece was causing an issue. So we have to Hmm, <laughs> this is interesting. This is interesting. So now we actually do have to block off access. Trying to figure out the best way to do that. Because what we could do is we could lower this. I mean, hang on, where's my monkey? Looks like, uh, looks like the time lapse will be a little bit later than originally planned. They're not even able to climb this stuff. Oh, actually, the game's not showing me what's climbable right now. Thanks. They're showing me the stuff over here, which is great, but over here... How do I know if I can block the monkey off or not? They're able to get up over here. Okay, what happens if we at least temporarily block this section off? Uh, I don't need all of you. Maybe all of you over here. Duplicate you over. Again, this is temporary because this is where the ride is tentatively going to go, right? Let's see if that does the trick. Find my monkey. Not my tree, my monkey. Come on, come on. There we go. I don't know if it's updated or not. If we unpause. Yikes. Interesting. Interesting indeed. This is a much bigger problem than uh, 
than I'd initially anticipated. I'm just trying to figure out how we can block all this off. I really is too bad. I, I <laughs> really is too bad this is all climbable. They're able to get up over here. Okay. See, the, the bamboo isn't being considered climbable, which is weird. It's just the, uh, the walls. But over here, the bamboo is climbable. But it seems like it does cut, pe cut the uh, monkeys off up there. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see. Let's see if we can't um, fly that over here. I and mean, I'm glad I checked because otherwise, you know, we'd be in a world of trouble. We'd be in a world of trouble when uh, when the time came to hit play and, and we'd be wondering, well, why are all these monkeys escaping? I want to have to undo everything we did. See, this is where, like, I, it's just like... I wish you could set things. Like, this This isn't climbable. You can barely get your fingers into these gaps over here. And I know I said your, but I mean, even a monkey, right, would have a hard time getting their fingers into those gaps. It's like, I don't know if I'd call that climbable. But here we are. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's block this off properly. I really hope this works out, because if it doesn't, we'll be, we're in a world of trouble. <laughs> we'll have to redo this. Wow, and I, wasn't I just talking about how I felt good about where we are and the progress we've made and all that, you know, all that niceness out the window, out the window. Now we got to slow down and adjust this. All right, let's see. I just want to make sure again, I all want to do it, do it right the first time. Just plug this properly rather than leave a leave a gap that I, I know is larger than all the other gaps. All right, so let's go ahead and duplicate you over. Honestly, I feel like I need to save after every step. I'm not doing this in a time lapse because I think it'll be pretty quick and it'll be a lot of like checking and hitting play and checking and hitting play. Um, plus this kind of problem solving I feel like is, uh, is a fun activity for everybody involved. Let's see if that'll block the monkeys off up over here at least. It might still be able to sneak in over there, so let's go ahead and do that. Like, I suspect this inward bend is stopping them from being able to escape as easily. But who knows? I mean, they can climb up and then get up over here this way, right? Oh, jeez. Unless I make the gaps too tight for them, I suppose. But this this has got to be it. This has got to be what's... I, I know it's sticking out. I'm fine with that for now. This has got to be what's allowing them to... Uh, to get out. I guess putting this horizontal bar in helped previously. I wonder if I need to do that more. All right, let's, let's fix this. Fix this, come on now. There we go. I'll rotate you slightly. At least we've identified what the problem is. Not knowing was, uh, was driving me wild uh, right up until today when we noticed the issue. Um, so at least now, at least now we have some idea of what's going on. God. Note to self, do not use climbable pieces. Do, do not put anything down without checking if it's climbable first. There. That's the note. I'll put you up over here. Lower this a bit. Monkeys, man, they'll like, they'll get through anything, right? Like, they, could they climb in over there? Maybe. I don't know how the game uh, calculates that stuff. Don't know how the game calculates that stuff. All right. Go ahead and get, well, like four of you? No, three of you maybe. Looks like the right amount of space. Copy you over. All right. Done. Yeah, because it's not like the ground is connected anywhere that we saw them being able to get through. It, it, was, it was through climbing that they were able to get through. Please work. Please work. I think I have to unpause. Let's, uh... I think I have to unpause. Well, okay, before I do, let's just, let's be thorough before we unpause again, right? Go ahead and duplicate you. Now, again, we're not 100% sure that it's the case, but we have reason to believe that the horizontal bar breaks the climbing. Um, let's see if that's the case. One way to find out. 
The reason why I'm moving it like this is because the um, auto movement was like hard to pinpoint the rotation of, so I just feel like this is a you know, way of doing it. Now let's see if we can't like put this down over here and just be done with it, kind of, you know? Like, don't need multiples, don't need one higher up, stop them from getting too high up to begin with. Worst case scenario, I can build something up top here that stops them from climbing any higher than the, the wood. Um, I do worry about the... Uh, about the, um... Like, about the game trying to understand what's going on over here, I guess. Like, will it realize that the monkeys shouldn't be climbing this? Will monkeys be spending all their time on on the wooden uh, panels that, you know, are basically sheer walls? I don't know. I don't know. The struggle of trying something a little different. Paying the price for it, eh? Paying the price. The bamboo price, if you will. All right. Good here. Not perfect. We'll, we'll make, we can make fine adjustments later as well. Right now, I just want to, <laughs> just want to find a solution. I want to have a solution. What's up? One more. Yeah, one more. We don't have to worry about out over here. We just have to worry about inside the, uh, inside the enclosure. Come on. There we go. Get her done, and then let's go ahead and duplicate you over the other side. Down over here. I really hope this works. Okay, do that. And one more. And then we save. <laughs> the incessant saving is necessary, I think. That was actually not the best placement. God. Regret pressing the undo button there. Okay. Not tempt fate. Okay, there we go. Man. Every button press. Nerve wracking. We're almost there, folks. We're almost there. Then uh we'll 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 handle some other stuff. I mean I might need to might need to solve this afterwards. Cause I, I don't wanna stagnate either. I don't wanna like be stuck here for all eternity. So if this doesn't work, then I have to really kind of go back to the drawing board. Um, and I'll deal with that after. Okay, put you down over there. One more. Please do the trick. Okay, put you over here. Got to slide you in there. Rotate you slightly. There we go. I'm hoping this will do the trick on its own. Again, I think the next iteration of this is, uh, yeah, blocking access, like right at the top of the uh, the walls. Uh, let's go ahead and save the game again, and then we'll unpause it, see if the animals update their uh, their pathing. This has certainly been an adventure. All right. Let's close that, unpause, let the game recalculate. That's what it's doing right now. And let's go ahead and pause again. And let's take a look. Oh, still able to get through. Actually able to get through here as well? Doesn't make any sense. How are you getting up here? Like, the, the, the connections back over here don't matter. Because they will be cut off. Eventually. Is this not blocking you? Oh, are you able to get over and across over here? Yes. That would be a problem as well. Oh, man. Okay. I, yeah, see, I just wish the lines were a bit clearer. Like, okay, I can see you climbing up to here. So the horizontal bar did nothing here. Are you able to jump from there over? Is that what's going on? Doesn't seem to be the case. Lag is also ridiculous.
All right, you know what? I think I've I think I've thought of a solution. I think I've thought of a solution. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I love it, but it might be just a temporary one so we can kind of move on for today. But put down these glass panels. Hypothetically, it should make hmm, the space unclimbable. I wonder if I want to do the entire thing. I don't really like the the look of that actually. Or if I want to do two by one, one by point five, four by four. That does not look like a four by four. That that very much does not look square. These labels are wrong. Uh, anyway. What I could do is put this across the top, basically. And again, hypothetically, the glass should be unclimbable and should prevent the monkey from getting up past this line. So, of course, there's this exposed area as well. I mean, these monkeys are tiny, right? Let's see. down. I mean, this is going to be an undertaking. I might want to do this in a time lapse, actually. In theory, it should work. But I think, um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll say that for a time lapse. That'll, that's going to be very tedious. I also don't know if I like how that looks. Uh, okay, it kind of blends. It, it blends in nicely enough. It does have that glaze look to it, which I'm, I'm okay with. Um, I what I what I'd rather do just before I dive into uh, or pull away from this. Oh come on! Now let me select the piece because I guess it's too uh, tightly packed. What I think I'd rather do is I don't know if I can, but I think it would look nicer and it would make more sense. Is this and like treat it as like casing for our light so it can stick out a little bit? That's a it's a nice detail, I'll be honest, uh, and, and maybe it'll be enough to, to block uh, block the monkey. Oh man, this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? <laughs> this is gonna be a thing. I don't want to have to rebuild the entire museum. I'm so happy with how it looks. It, it would be a bummer to have to, to redo that. Um, but I mean, hopefully this glass trick will do the trick. I don't know why I'm checking. It's a little premature to check. But yeah, we'd have to, let's see, we'd have to get all this covered up. That would hopefully block their access above this. We need to cover this space up. No big deal. And we'd have to go around just to make it consistent, right? Go all the way around. But why do we see an escape route over here as well? Like, this wasn't a problem before. How did it all of a sudden become a problem? Yeah, if we get glass all around, we should be good. The only thing I don't know is how far the monkey can jump. Right, if I, if I do that, will they be able to, like, I doubt they'll be able to go from here, up to here, up to here. Like, this ain't, this ain't Prince of Persia, this isn't a video game, you can't, right? You can't, they, right? They can't do that. Um, but can they go from here, up to here? Right, is this Assassin's Creed? Right, are they gonna go, boop, just like that? I don't know. We'll find out together, I guess. But I, I'm gonna deal with this in a bit. I do want to focus on, uh, on Llama Lane. Uh, I know it sounds like I'm just throwing a big issue aside, and that's because I kind of am right now. Because I, I want to make a little bit of progress today, uh, and then we can go back to that um, still today. I, I do still want to work on it, it's just a matter of the order we're approaching it, so don't worry about that. Hopefully we can accomplish all things today. Uh, now over here, one thing I want to do before we do begin the time lapse, the last thing I want to do before we begin the time lapse is I want to um, get all of our mails put away because... Okay, okay. I, I know he's a fan favorite, so let's check. Kuzco. Who and you? Alright, the monogamous. So, alright, so if Kuri and Kuzco stay, we should be fine. Oh no, Kuri is infertile. Okay, well, Kuzco gets to stay, I guess, as long as he doesn't mate with Tuta or Suyana. So Yana's gold. So Yana gets to stay above all. Uh, okay, well, well, fine. I'll take that risk because I know he's a favorite. <laughs> I'll take that risk. 
But let's go ahead and see our other male um, llamas here. Llama, 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 llama. Where are you? There you are. Go with males first. So Kuzco gets to stay. We can get rid of every... Okay, this guy needs to be able to stay as well. He's gold rated, right? We have a couple of gold rated males here. I wish it wouldn't close this window when I click on compare mates. Oh, you're a baby. You're a baby. Okay. Who are your parents? Andes and Tuta. Okay, well. Hopefully I have another female for you. So you are... Where do you go? There we go. Too young to worry about. These guys down over here. Umac. Who's your mate? Who is your mate? Nobody. Okay, so Umak needs to go. Despite him being good, this is it's it's always hard to do. Um, it's always hard to do because if you'll see, if we take a look here, hopefully the categorization is still active. Sorry, zoo. No, it's not. Of course, it's not. Why would it be? Why would it be llama? There we go. We have Tuyana. Quilur, Umak, and Olanta. Those are our high quality llamas, and they are all Barsuyana, they are all males. So arguably what I should do, like normally I get rid of the males, keep the females, bring a new male in. But here it feels like I should do the opposite. Get rid of the females. We have fewer females. So get rid of the females three of them. Maybe Suyana can stay, right? Like, what are the chances of, th of things going wrong there? So, um, Uri, Tuta, and Chispi. Two of them are really old anyway. Suyana gets to stay. Right, so y'all... Well, they're infertile, then it shouldn't matter, right? If they're... Who should we just... Tell me over here. Are you infertile? Yes, you are. Right, because I can rehome them. All right, so you can only rehome animals that are infertile. Rehome. Okay, cool. So, so they don't matter. Tuta. I guess we could release to the wild. Let's see. What are your what are your stats like? Uh, actually, not bad. So let's go ahead and send you to the trade center. Somebody else can you know profit off of uh, of Tuta. Yeah, how, how is inbreeding happening so often? I guess it's the, like, one female getting around. Uh, let's go ahead and send you to the trade center. Also, that sounded terrible. I apologize. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Um, do I have any warnings over here about inbreeding about to happen? No. This is from four years ago. Okay, I was like, oh, no. Fighting. No. Okay, looks like we're fine there. So... Yeah, it's weird to see inbreeding be so common when there's hardly room for it. Who, who, who is your mate? Um, none. Okay. So you haven't picked one yet. Oh, I see. I guess that's why... I guess when we interrupt mating even if it's in like i guess when we interrupt inbreeding the mating isn't completed like they don't become a pair that seems to be the case all right so let's, let's go ahead and, and do another check over here so if suyana gets to stay tuta needs to go we'll keep an eye out on anybody else who's causing issues I and mean, we can put tuta on contraceptives as well instead but i think i think let's go ahead and send you to the trade center didn't we already click that and suyana gets to stay sure this one we did in that case, let's go ahead and, yes, pick up at least one or two females. So we have a bit more, you know, breeding op options and whatnot. A few more um, mate options. I could pick up more monkeys as well. In fact, you know, there's a gold rank one right here. Let's go ahead and adopt you. <laughs> let's go ahead and adopt you from Wings Wildlife. Those are, those are really good stats. Wouldn't mind having that. Might draw some more donations out of the, um, out of the monkeys as well. Pop you in over there, and let's go ahead and get our llamas. Where are we? 
L is for llama. There we go. Filter that. And, oh my god, I'm not going to pay 10000 for a llama. I also need females. Thank you very much. Okay, 500 is a bit more reasonable. That is a name I cannot read, but I assume it says Nona. But I do not read Cyrillic. Uh, Kuri isn't bad. 7,000. 7,000. These are some ridiculous prices for llamas, I would say. We have the we have the resources. Sure, Animal Planet. I was partly raised on you. I'll go ahead and pick one up. One for one replacement. Hopefully we'll have some more female babies. I, I think that's the way to go about it. Because again, normally, again, normally, yes, I would absolutely get rid of all of the, uh, the males and swap them out. But we have a monogamous animal over here. And not just a monogamous animal, but we also have, you know, it's all of our all of our good ones are males. Well, most of our good ones are males. We can get rid of some of the not so good males, right? Andy's is also infertile. One would assume, though I don't know if it's uh, if it applies. Yeah, yep. Lipia over here as well, and they're elderly. I kind of want to let the elderly pass away at the zoo. I don't want to rehome them, just empty the space out. So I think that'll be okay. I think that'll be okay. Um. And once those new animals come in, and hopefully they'll reinvigorate the space. We are still making decent money over here, I think. But, uh, I mean, these are old. These animals are old news now, so I'm not surprised that it's March and they've only made 700 up there. It is also possible that the donations are now being spread out a little bit as uh, folks go through. That doesn't seem to be the case. Come on now. Mm, yeah, 17 bucks. That's what I'm talking about. It's okay. I mean, they're not animals. Don't always stay as big money makers. I I suspect again, it is just March. I think I'm being a little too harsh. Um, you know, multiply this by three, I guess. Well, four actually, and you're looking at good money for the year. So fine, fair enough. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, we're done here with management. That was the pro that was the I wanted to do that and the color change and then dive into the time lapse but uh you know then then we got into a whole lot of monkey business and i'm really worried about that but we'll talk about that afterwards for now folks let's go ahead and dive on into our time lapse get some work done uh on uh, on llama lane and hopefully end up with something rather beautiful or yes as i said earlier something rather picturesque folks it's time lapse time all right, folks, time lapse time indeed, and uh, boy oh boy, do we get a lot done. Um, I'll be straight up, I feel like there is still a lot of work to be done in uh, in the space at Llama Lane. I feel like everybody already knows that. I feel like, let's be honest with ourselves, that's always the case. Um, but today's time lapse gets us a huge chunk of the way there, and it really um, tackles some of the things that I was worried about at first. Some of the things that I was concerned wasn't going to work out that well, or I wasn't sure how I was going to execute. But um, all that stuff, all those concerns can be put to bed, and I'm pretty happy with how things have come together. It's just a, you know, those, that, that final little uh, step is all that uh, Llama Lane is going to need afterwards, like in another time lapse, maybe the next session or something. Uh, there was just, I also wanted to deal with the, uh, with Camp Capuchin. Um, there's just, too machu to do today i suppose in this time lapse you could say uh so so i think that's my my attention was a little bit more divided than i would have liked it to be but with that said even though it was divided over the course of the entire time lapse i obviously had my full uh sort of head in the game for each part of it when the time came for you know the relevant part uh first step is yes to make this kind of machu picchu style um enclosure get a little bit more close to complete and uh so what was actually funny to me is that I've always had an image of Machu Picchu in my head. I mean, I, I recognize it. If you were to show me a picture of it, I'd immediately go, oh yeah, that's Machu Picchu. Like, it's one of those recognizable things. Uh, but it wasn't until relatively recently that that I realized exactly what the, uh, the like, the the facades looked like. Um, and and by, by relatively recently, I mean, you know, when I started Elite Zoo South is when I looked up... Uh, uh, looked up Machu Picchu and, and got some proper reference images and stuff, and I realized, oh my God, these are this is it's all it's all structural. It's not just uh, rock or soil, uh, and that's why this was all this has always been the plan to build this like brickwork masonry kind of layout. Uh, I just wasn't sure exactly which pieces to use, but fortunately, the South America DLC came with all these parts that work wonderfully for um well for you know <laughs> for a South American construct. Who'd have thunk? Um, 
but yeah, it looks really nice. So I'll, basically what I end up doing is I build one modular piece and then I start duplicating that and building variants of that modular piece. For example, a curved piece or a straight piece or a flipped piece. And that way it doesn't feel like it's tiling. It doesn't feel repetitive. And I try to like take pieces from elsewhere where possible just to again, break that tiling pattern up. Uh, it helps it feel a bit more natural because these were i mean if you look at the, if you look at reference images of uh, of machu picchu and you'll see that there's a lot of like there's a lot of like stacking uh of, of very oddly shaped rocks now i kind of wish that some of these rocks were rounded on the front or like you know had uh, had polygonal shapes rather than all uh you know rectangles and cubes or you know, rectangles and squares i guess looking two-dimensionally um but you know we work with the tools we have obviously uh, I also noticed that there's actually a lot more vegetation than I'd initially uh, realized or anticipated. And so I wanted to implement that as well. So you can see over here, again, just looking at some references, uh, like piled rocks, uh, I guess natural giant piles of rocks, not constructs, uh, with uh, with like vegetation growing. Maybe it's reclamation, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, or maybe it's like, you know, the, just the natural trees and stuff that are left in the space. Um, I kind of really like, by the way, our like reverse Machu Picchu, if you will, the fact that we have... Um, it's like it's descending as opposed to ascending. I feel like there's there's something there. Um, oh god, I was gonna make a, a a Machu Peak joke there. Like you know, like it's not a peak. It's 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 the opposite of a peak. What is the opposite of a peak? Anyway, that's anyway, distracting myself. <laughs> um, the uh, over, overall though, uh, I'm I'm really quite pleased with the space. I, I think the work that still needs to be done is adding a few more decorative elements around the space. I feel like there's a lot of empty space as well, but I, I I keep even now I keep needing to remind myself that the llamas need to be able to run, uh, and they need that empty space to run through. But man, even now just in, in this high speed looking around, it's it's I'm very pleased uh, with the end results actually more so than maybe I made it sound like at the beginning of this time lapse. Um, just getting getting those rocks lined up nicely, making them feel random, making them feel you know messy as it were, uh, and integrating into the the side walls that have been so bland and plain for so long. Uh, it's a small small detail, but it goes such a long way. And then down over here again, of course, again the 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 the, the construct has multiple layers, <laughs> right? And then I came across this guy's face, and I just thought <laughs> that's got that's gonna be the thumbnail for sure. <laughs> oh my god, um, it was it's such a good look. Um, but yeah, so, so yeah, you know, getting, getting this like layering rock, uh, masonry work done uh, across all the layers of this, uh, uh of, of this enclosure using the stairs, by the way, I use that a lot, uh, because there's a lot of like random elements on the, uh, on the stairs and you obviously just tuck a big part of it underneath the, uh, the soil and it looks like it's exposed, um, uh, masonry. Uh, so again, there, there, there isn't too much more to say about that. It's just a matter of. Uh, repeating the process and finding a good way to like make it feel random even when you're actually doing some repetition and there's just so much of it that that randomness is so important because otherwise the tiling becomes super evident adding some more greenery as well here and there because uh, again i felt like like I'm, I'm super happy with how things look but i felt like more of the space needed filling and so i i try to do that without intruding on the running space because again the llamas still need to be able to run around and stuff uh, and I do so by like tucking trees into little corners or finding little nooks where we could have some vegetation or some of those big rocks. You'll see some more of that happening soon as well. Uh, and overall, I end up pretty pleased with uh, with the way that works out. You will see me rework the terrain as well, where I realize that it's not as flat or sharp as I initially wanted it to be. Just using the brush a little bit to, to nudge it around, though eventually I do go through with the uh, carving tool as well. Um, not sure what I'm doing here, but most likely reconsidering all the uh, life decisions that led me up to this point. It tends to be uh, what happens when I'm paused like this. Uh, maybe I'm just looking at some more references. I think this is when I realized uh, what else do I do with this space? Uh, how else can I, you know, what else can I add uh, to this space? So just looking at some more references. Always, uh, actually, I, I should mention this. I was, I was, I was mentioning this uh, last session about like, you know, where to, how, how to go about, what's the process of doing these things or you know, if you're doing your own thing and you feel like it's not working out, one of the most important things you can do when you're creating art of any kind, in my very humble opinion, is have a reference. If you're trying to mimic something that's real, um, have a reference. B because there are those little details that we never remember. But the small details just make things feel more real or, or finish the job. 
Uh, so so I, I always like going back to my references and there's absolutely zero, um, like, I don't know, I don't even know why, why, why I would have to qual qualify this, but there's zero shame in using references. They're super helpful, they're super important, and they help things look and feel more real. Again, like I said, I completely forgot about how much vegetation there actually is at Machu Picchu until I looked at these references and I was like, oh man, there's a, a lot more than I, than I realized. But you can see, again, it feels like very small progress, but it is... Uh, it, it doesn't look like Machu, but it is um, because it, it, it just it just helps complete the space off. And then, of course, there's the final layer over here. I felt like I wanted to get this done before I went back to uh, Camp Capuchin to, to work on that. I wanted to get the um, the education boards over here integrated nicely, and I wanted to get the uh, chops integrated nicely as well. That's why the first thing we did in this time lapse was remove those initial coverings because that was temporary. And I think I mentioned last session as well, those were just, that was just a temporary solution just to see if the theory would work. Um, but, uh, but this now we're building our more permanent solution. And again, we might go back in and tweak it a little bit, but this is going to be, uh, this is going to be it basically. I mean, first thing is to build this little hall over here again, getting those same rock pieces, pulling them out, making it feel random, uh, making it feel like it's a part of the whole thing. Again, just making it all match was uh, very important to me. Uh, man, those those stair pieces are, are a godsend. Uh, and I don't know why why that was the moment I decided to come back and adjust the shapes over here, but but it was. I, I guess it was just a matter of me going, all right, let's let's look at something else for a little bit before I tackle this beast. And, and I was worried this would be a very difficult thing to do. Uh, I wasn't sure which pieces I would use over here, but it actually ends up working out. Again, those stair pieces are so great because they take up so much space in one swoop. And they look interesting and random, so very big fan of uh, of those pieces. And you can see me now just kind of duplicating things, moving them around, and, and just filling in the gaps. Uh, ultimately, I realized that we're not going to be able to get a perfect like coverage using these rock pieces, so I do end up using the uh, store cover pieces. Um, so basically, uh, again, thinking you know realistically, you would have like the the wallpaper, so to speak, on the store that creates a faux uh, layer of rocks. And then on top of that, you would have, you know, I don't know if it'd be fiberglass or what it would be, uh, but you'd have like some lightweight decorative material that's that would form up these rocks, right? Uh, so just kind of trying to mimic a real world, uh, well, trying to mimic what maybe happened in the real world uh, with one of these stores if you had to have the, uh, you know, solid block that the game gives you as a, as a baseline. Adding some more vegetation as well, you know, livening the uh, space up and uh, yeah, just kind of, you know, adding a couple little details here and there, making sure the little gaps are covered up where necessary. Uh, again, also trying to be conscious of our of our part count, but I've taken a few liberties over here. I'm really happy with how that piece looks and uh, we'll get a better view of it afterwards as well. Uh, but for now, I want to quickly save the zoo in case the worst happens and uh, get to work over here. Really am quite happy with, uh, with how Machu Picchu is looking. It's... Uh, I just called it much with how with how Llama Lane is looking. It's it's got all the the parts that I was looking for. I'm really pleased actually with the store space um, and how uh, how the little walk up to those shops and the vendors feel. So I'm I'm super pumped about that. Uh, and, and I decided on that high note, I should turn my attention to uh, a thing that I'm less pumped about, which is yes, Camp Capuchin. I do not know why it is causing these issues. And uh, well, I mean, I'll tell you right now, this solution is not. A solution. <laughs> uh, this doesn't do the trick. Um, I do a couple of other things after the time lapse as well, and uh, I think we come close to a solution. But uh, again, I'll just let you know right off the bat, we don't have a solution today. I'm curious to see what if you all notice anything that I'm missing. Um, I do try a few different things, and I need to do it in real time because uh, again, I can't pause on pause, pause on pause, and, and have the thing update. So uh, this is roughly where the time lapse comes to an end. We do a quick couple of checks on uh, Amp Capuchin, add a few more trees over here, but uh, this is it for the time lapse. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you like the uh, end result over here. Again, there's still some work to be done, but that's, uh, that's a conversation for later. Now, back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse, and I am overall pretty satisfied with how things have come together so far. But there is still a little bit of work to do around these parts. I feel like... The um, execution so far, like, I, I feel like I'm pretty happy with, like, how randomized all this stuff looks, how it looks, you know, quote-unquote appropriate, I suppose, to what I'm going for. Couple of little issues like this, I'm sure, have skipped 
past my eye and we'll be repairing this stuff whenever we kind of notice them that's not a big deal though that's not my biggest concern around these parts my biggest concern is uh, with regards to uh, just just the overall uh, impact of the space I'd like to add something more to it um, by which I mean like uh, and, and maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm wrong maybe maybe I've uh, maybe I'm overthinking it but like I feel like we could maybe add some more trees perhaps or I mean, I guess once we have the water flowing effects, all that stuff will really help bring this space to life as well. We could add some more greenery like this as well. I do like this kind of like, uh, again, looking at my references, there's a lot more, you know, tree coverage and stuff in uh, at Machu Picchu than I'd initially remembered. Um, so that was definitely something I, I, I was happy to integrate more of and implement more of uh, just to get... Um, you know, something more happening in this space rather than it just be this massive kind of plain area. Uh, so that's definitely a good uh, good thing. Um, I, I definitely need to build out these stairs with a with the appropriate materials and things like that. And I think that'll bring this space to, to life as well. Um, m maybe I'm overthinking it, actually. Uh, it, it is like it, these, these animals do need space to run around and stuff as well. So we can't go on and block off many areas. So maybe I'm overthinking it. I do like how this looks overall. I mean, uh, it's it's unfortunate that we cannot get a greener green. The green at Machu Picchu of the grass is just like super vibrant. And unfortunately, there's nothing that we can put down here. Even the long grass, it, the long grass is actually more yellow than green. Uh, so the short grass has to do the trick. Uh, and we'll have to kind of like let our imaginations uh, super saturate these colors a little bit. But uh, ov overall, though, you know, I'm kind of I'm really liking how this feels. It's got the right look to it. Um, we've got like. I don't know, <laughs> the color palette matches as well. And I'm really happy with how the uh, the shop space looks as well. This is what I was going for originally. So uh, again, right, this is obviously all uh, quote unquote fake even in universe. So we've got the, um, you know, the, the the tacky old thing in the background to create the illusion of, of there being an actual layered rock. Uh, might want to add a few more pieces in here actually. Like if we just go ahead and you know, duplicate this up over here, fill in that large gap that might go a long way for us and as you can see actually um the clicking is so much smoother over here so the lag over at um uh camp capuchin is definitely as a result of the uh, climbing situation uh anyway i wanted to get this done during the time lapse i wanted to see how all this looks and feels i want to also now adjust this a little bit that's the thing it's like there's so many camera angles you could literally look literally look at things from 360 degrees um and just notice different things. So just just a couple of tweaks here and there in real time. Hope you all don't mind. Just want to try and get things looking a little bit better. There we go. Uh, yeah. So this is uh, I'm feeling pretty happy with even how this kind of integrates. Uh, might actually what I want to do might actually get this kind of a thing going. Just so we don't have the exposed gray uh, blocks. I never really like the look of that. And in fact, I want to do something about that at Capuchin Corner as well. However, I want to do that after we have our. Um, <laughs> our climbing situation sorted out. I mean, I, as you saw at the end of that time lapse, I did try to do something there. Hopefully, the uh, glass panel trick does the job. Uh, if not, it's just a matter of identifying where they're able to climb through and then blocking that section off. And I, I, th I think we should be able to do that. It's just a matter of, of spending the time uh, to find that spot and, and executing the solution. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure we can do it. Sure we can do it. Anytime I say find blank and blank, I can only think about uh, 21 and 22 Jump Street, the new movies um, that came out, what, like five years ago now? Oh, I, f I forget the line now. I forget the exact line, but that's all I can think of. And, and if you know, you know. <laughs> if you don't, then I can highly recommend watching that movie. It's a very fun film. A uh, fun, fun set of films, I should say. Anyway, back on task over here. Go ahead and just cover this up. I wish I'd noticed during the time lapse. My apologies. Uh, but again, during the time lapse, I also wanted to deal with um, Amp Capuchin, right? So that's why there might be a couple of gaps over here. Again, I want to I want to do something up over here as well. There, there are still things to be done in the area, but I'm certainly feeling a lot better about it um, now than I was before. Just seeing all the pieces come together and seeing this space come together as was my initial intent. Now, I don't know if I'll also be building like a little monument or something up over here. Again, Machu Picchu does have some of its, like, you know, um, higher, taller structures still intact. 
So I could replicate that, mimic some of that up over here, over here even maybe. Maybe make this whole facade rather than be rock. I could make it, uh, you know, a part of the uh, construct, if you will. But uh, that's all conversations that I'm curious to see in the uh, comments. So if you have any opinions, feel free to share them. I don't want to overdo the space again. I don't want to block too many things off. I want to have, you know, 30 llamas running around if that's what they want to do. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, we, that's just something to be mindful of, I suppose. Now back to the monkey business. Hopefully over here things have sorted out as well. I'm going to go ahead and save because I did make a couple of adjustments. Uh, and we're going to unpause and we're hopefully going to see the monkeys not cause us any more trouble over here. That would be absolutely wonderful to see. Oh, there's a recalculation happening. A little bit of a stutter there. And now, let's go ahead and pause again and take a look. Take a look. Moan of truth? No, that lag tells the story. How are you able to get up here? They're not passing through this because the blue isn't connected here, so they're not walking through here. They're able to get up over here and climb this still, so that glass hasn't done anything. Is that is that how they're getting up? Is that how they're getting there? I just wish the grid would even just show me everything properly, you know, so I could see all the way through. Alright. Okay. Let's try a, a a somewhat nuclear solution. Just a placeholder for now. Um, just a placeholder for now. While I try to s figure out where the issue lies. Are you climbable? You are not climbable. Okay, good. You're also flexicolor, which is great, because then I can go ahead and set you like this. Let's go ahead and do... Yes. Again, temp sol solution. I mean, maybe it ends up being the permanent solution. Who knows if we like it enough, right? But for now, just want to see if this does the trick. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be an experiment. Pop these down. Hopefully the game doesn't crash as we're doing this. But now that I've set it, I've probably jinxed it. Down over here as well. So hypothetically, we've now blocked off this entire section. Um, we could reduce the grid size and maybe keep this as one object. That would make me happy. Sure. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect right now. We can adjust it later. Right now, I just want to be able to block the access off. We shouldn't have to worry about this section because they shouldn't be able to get up there anyway. Um, that's the thing. They're able to. <laughs> they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be. I need to stop monkeying around. Come on now. <laughs> the lag is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But, I mean, I, again, I, I know why it's happening, so it's fine. It's understandable, right? I, I can't... You can't blame the game for something like that. That is... It's doing a lot of calculations uh, to, to readjust the, the climbing paths and figure out where the animals are able to go. Completely understandable. We've basically just pushed the game to a point where any computer would just be like, Hey, man, I'm not a supercomputer. We're not, we're not launching rockets here. Um... Saying Kerbal Space Program. God, I can't wait for ASP2 to come out. That's definitely happening on the channel, by the way. I've seen some of y'all ask. 100% I will be playing uh, Kerbal Space Program 2 on the channel when, when eventually that happens. Hopefully it does, and hopefully it's as good as the first one. But anyway, back, back on task over here. God. I can't tell. Oh, no. That was a misclick. Not the end of the world, but... There's going to be overlap anyway. Let's do that. Hopefully that does the trick. I mean, I think it needs to be recalculated again. Again, this is non-climbable. So right now, the topmost step here is non-climbable across the board. So even though they can get up the uh, the wood paneling, they should be stuck up over here, right? That's that's the theory, at least. That's the theory. So let's go ahead and, I guess, unpause. Let the game recalculate. There it is. It'll always, like, take a second to recalculate, I think. Now let's take a look over here. Uh, still the same problem. I just, I don't get it. <laughs> now it's even, it's considering this as a platform it can walk on. How are you getting up there, monkey? How? How are you doing it? How are you doing it? Like this section we should be able to ignore because they shouldn't be able to access this backspace anyway. They're, them coming here 
is a result of the problem, not the cause of it. So we can ignore this back area over here, right? Let's move on over here. It seems maybe they are able to... Again, if the grid would just show thoroughly, right, we'd be able to tell if it's climbing up over here or if they're climbing up over there. Um, or if it's maybe up over here. The, 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 the bamboo was here before the paneling, so for it to be a problem now and not before is a little strange. All right, let's try something a little, again, nuclear here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Don't worry, we're going to keep it within undue distance, right? And now, if I unpause for a second, again, recalculate. There it is. Go ahead and pause again. Where's my monkey? Go ahead and get you there. I've been still <laughs> throughout this pause and unpause process. All right, still got some lag over here, and still they're still able to get up. All right, so it's gotta be, it's gotta be the bamboo, right? All right, okay. Let's go ahead and undo that. Get all these back because I want to. Like that's the most time-consuming element of this whole space. I want to try one last thing before I call it a session today. Uh, this is this is going to be a lot more involved than uh, than I'd anticipated. I think. All right, let's go ahead and go to nature. Pick up some rocks over here. Uh, probably let's go with taiga for now. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. I'm just this is just an experiment that I'm doing here. Get uh, the bigger rocks. I wish it'd be clearer which ones are bigger and which ones are smaller. Now let's just go ahead and block this space off. And right, we're just blocking this space off. Preventing them from accessing those back pieces of bamboo. And hoping, like if that does the trick, then we know where the issue lies. Like, the, things are already moving a little bit faster there. I really hope that's the problem. If that's the problem, I'll be so pleased. Alright, let it recalculate. There it is. And... Pause you again. Please. 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 tell because even when I hit the button there was a there was a bit of lag all right so we know it's not this I'll, this is gonna be like a process of elimination thing they're able to get back there this is obviously blocked off because you can see the blue isn't connected that means they're not walking over there climbing over here and I could try getting rid of all of the bamboo see if that does the trick okay right, maybe maybe that's the last thing I try maybe that's the last thing I try Get rid of all the bamboo. And... That, that, that's that gotta be it, right? That's gotta be it, because then this has got to block them. How could they possibly... I mean, again, the game... One thing you can uh, pin on the game is the fact that it lets the animals clip through things sometimes to access climbing spaces. Um, but it could be that. Could be that. Go ahead and get rid of you as well. All right, of course. You're still one piece. You're still one piece over here. So let's go ahead and shift select to select multiple things. Control click is to deselect. So I'm going to keep these. Hey, the hot mess. Get over here. Yeah. Shift select here as well. Keep the rocks. Keep Bush, please. Oh, come on. Let me... There we go. That. Alright, cool. All the bamboo selected. Alright, so if we get rid of you... And again, access back there is blocked off anyway, right? So it's not a, not a part of the problem. Potentially. We'll see. Yep. Unpause. There's the calculation going down. Repause. And have we possibly solved the problem? No. I don't like this. I don't like this. So it's not the bamboo. Why? How? Where? Uh, 
able to climb, but this should be blocking them, and it looks like it is blocking them. Right, unless, are they able to come in here as well, actually? Let me see. They are. Why are they able to come in here? Well, I guess they come in here from back here. That should block them off as well. Yeah, this is so weird. Oh, are they? No, they should. Yeah, see, they shouldn't even be able to come in over here. How are they? How are they getting in here? Oh, right. Of course, they're jumping down from up top. That's got to be it. And they have access in here as well. Okay. Well, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. Mm. I mean, the other solution... Ugh, I don't know if I like it. The other solution is to, like, reduce the space over here overall and, like, cut things off at this pair of trees and have the rest of it be the uh, enclosure. I mean, that is an option. It's not the worst option. It's something to think about. Uh, but this is uh, this is a serious uh, issue. This is a serious problem. These came back very quickly. The rest are taking their time. There we go. This is a serious concern. I wish I could just identify where the problem was easily and then I wouldn't yeah the, then then I could work towards the solution if I knew where the problem was and we'd be able to like just go straight at that problem spot and was like slowly popping these pieces in but yeah like if I knew exactly where the problem was then it, it'd just be a matter of like okay let's see what the different ways we can cut off that access point is right now as far as I can tell I have cut off the access point I've uh I mean, I, I guess, are they climbing up and going in? See, but, okay. They can't climb up and then continue upwards from that ridge, as far as I can tell. They, that should be stopping them. Um, uh, unless they're clipping through, I guess. All right. One last test. One last test. Over to you. Get rid of you. Okay. Delete that. I know I, I keep saying last test and then doing another one. My apologies. Unpause. There's a calculation. I don't know. The lag of the calculation just makes me worry as well. I'm completely honest. Well, let's see. What have we got? Well, that looks infinitely better. A lot of climbing going on. Still able to access some of the parts at the back there. All right. Okay. That's better though. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I think it is the little pieces I have on the sides causing the uh, the issue. Oh, I should not have hit the undo button with this view active. Party you fool. Oh, it looks like we're okay. All right. Oh. Well, now it's not seeing any escapes. It's gotta be too good to be true. I'm sure if we unpause it, it'll recalculate and it'll find some escape points. It looks like it. <laughs> Certainly feels like it. See, yeah. So I think I think it is. Uh, I think it's these panels that are doing the trick right now. But you know what? We'll 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 look at that later, folks. This is actually where I have to call it a session. We've gone on a little bit longer than uh, anticipated, and uh, that's. Uh, not uh, not good. I'm going to call it over here and I need to consider I want to go about solving the situation. Now I'm curious to hear your opinions as well. Let me know what you think we should uh, we should do to, to take care of this. I, again, I think it'll be I mean a matter of getting rid of these and replacing them with something else, maybe exposing the rock back there because there's no way we haven't blocked this off, right? Like there's no way we haven't blocked that off, but uh, I will tell, I guess. I mean, it's nice to see the crowds coming through. It's nice to see the money we've made. We're at about 150k. I wish I'd gotten the opportunity to get some more, like, bench placement and lighting and stuff like that done as well. But the monkeys took up a lot of our time, unfortunately. Uh, however, I am glad, of course, we got to uh, come around and establish some of this stuff. I mean, 89%, 91%. Guests are a lot happier about these spaces, so hopefully they'll be coming through to buy more drinks and things like that, make us some more money. And I will look to implement, uh, you know, 
food and things down over here as well and then we'll complete the uh the rock pattern over here too to complete the uh the entire space but for now folks i hope you enjoyed this session but this is where we're going to call it a little nervous about the monkeys but i'm sure we'll come to a solution we've we've come to solutions for worse circumstances in the past this is nothing <laughs> this is nothing uh, I hope you, again, enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, as I've already highlighted. Um, just helps me know what y'all are thinking. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers. <laughs>